and everybody was having a good time. Correct. You were having a good time. <laughs> yes, correct. Okay. The alleged victim in a sexual assault case against former MSU basketball star Mateen Cleves took the stand today. Cleves is accused of sexually assaulting the woman at a Mundy Township motel back in September of 2015. Following a charity golf event after party, defense attorney Mike Manley questioned the woman about what she recalled that night. Did you get into Mr. Cleves' car? Yes. Do you recall getting into Mr. Cleves' car? Uh... I just remember being in the car. Cleves is charged with criminal sexual conduct, assault with intent to commit criminal sexual conduct, and unlawful imprisonment. The alleged victim told the jury that while she did willingly go into the car with Cleves, she didn't agree to go to the motel with him. She says she thought they were going somewhere else with a group to drink more. Did you have an agreement with Mateen Cleves to go to a motel? No. You just told me you didn't remember anything about getting into the car with Mateen Cleves. I know that it was said that we're going back to Warwick, and I would not have agreed to go to a motel with him. The prosecution asked the alleged victim what she remembered about the night when she says Cleves sexually assaulted her in the motel room. Um, the next thing I remember is uh, pushing him away and running out of the room a second time. And this time when you run out of the room, uh, are you going in the same direction that you went the previous time? I believe so, yes. Okay. The alleged victim told the court today that she tried to leave the motel several times to escape her alleged attacker. Why are you leaving out of the room this time? Because I didn't want to be there. I wanted to go home. Did you want him to be doing those things to you? No. During opening statements, the prosecution said they believe the police favored Cleves and didn't take the allegations seriously. And starting at 6, we'll be hearing from the alleged victim about how she says she was treated by police after the incident. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.